You know when people say something's going to be bad the whole time and then you have it yourself and it's not as bad as you think? That's actually quite satisfying. Hey guys, this is my review for Suicide Squad. This is the first film that, uh, the first comic book movie that I was really excited for that I didn't see the midnight showing for, mainly because I just, with everything that happened over the last few weeks, I just didn't feel like it. So I saw it just now. It's not as bad as people say it is. There are issues. There definitely are some issues. The first thing I'll have to say is that this film feels too tonal. There are certain parts of the squad that are really heavily introduced, and then there's people who they just shoehorn in. I'm looking at you, Slipknot. Wow, you... <laughs> but there are things that you notice. There's scenes that are definitely missing. There's stuff that's added that's kind of unnecessary. And there's a lot more about these characters. There's one thing that Chris Stuckman said that for a character to exhibit his traits, you don't have to tell the audience everything. You can show them what they do. But that was kind of why the, for the briefing scene. Like, literally, you could have given us 10 seconds about each person, and we could have seen this throughout the film instead of all this backstory. Like, that's something I feel the editing did not do as well. Is that we have each character, like, hell, Deadshot's intro, his backstory is all given in one scene. Or we could have gotten it interplacently, like Harley Quinn's is, in a sense. But I feel that that could have been, we could have had these little flashbacks in between dispersed throughout the film. That's how I feel it could have been done, instead of doing it like how they did. I definitely say that the pacing has some issues. There are some two-tonal issues. I can say this is very similar to Guardians of the Galaxy, in the sense that there's a bunch of ragtag people who come together to take on a villain who is very one-dimensional. Is she a terrible villain? She's not good. She's definitely not all right. She's the whole villain aspect is not very intriguing. But hell, we all love Guardians of the Galaxy, and Ronan was the most one-tone character I've ever seen in a Marvel film. Like he was only beaten by one toneness by the Ant-Man villain, and that guy was just a pure murderer. The characters themselves, each one I thought was very interesting. The main ones, Deadshot really well done by Will Smith. He really holds up the film. Margot Robbie was fantastic as Harley Quinn. Her mix of a Boston accent and everything else into the character really... It took a lot of elements from Arkham and the television show, uh, the animated show, and brought it onto the screen in a much more mature attitude. I definitely like the action in this film. The action sequences are so well done, aside from the end scene, which I will talk about. But the other characters are all like... They're given okay introduction. There's Captain Boomerang who doesn't really... Honestly, he does not do much in this movie. Does more than Slipknot, but he does not a lot. Killer Croc doesn't really do anything. He says like one or two things. Uh, the rest of the squad really... Actually, the character I like the most who wasn't a part of the Suicide Squad itself was Flag. He was actually really well acted by Joel Kinnam, in my opinion. I think he we see this guy who hates these people, who hates the whole idea of it, and he comes to actually respect some of them. Especially so him and Deadshot, they have this... <laughs> there are some scenes that are kind of like, eh, like the humor isn't really there. But you really see these characters start to develop each other. And throughout all the issues, you can see there is something there. It's not as pitch pat, say, as other films are, but there's definitely pieces that felt missing throughout the narrative. Action's really good, aside from the end sequence. The end sequence was so terribly DOP'd. Everything's fuzzy as shit, and you can't see what's going on, and it, there's so much rain that the final scene wasn't really that well done. However, I still very much enjoyed watching this film. I would watch this film any day over Batman vs. Superman. David Ayer brought something that was much more different. I can't wait to see what his final vision is. This film does have issues. I will not disagree with that. But it is nowhere near as bad as people are saying it is. Some people were saying this film is worse than Batman vs. Superman. Hell no. I will watch this any day over Batman vs. Superman. I really enjoyed the film. I think the characters were well fleshed out. There's definitely something missing. The first part of the film feels way different from the other from the third act. And the middle is probably the best part. 
Like I said, there's stuff missing. There's a few issues too of how the movie was put together. At one point they go from the outside in the rain and they go into the bar and everyone's dry. Or the fact that the villain is in a sense created by Ma Amanda Waller and no one comments on that. Viola Davis does an awesome job as Amanda Waller. Fantastic. I was worried that she might not be able to be the super... I, I call her the Ice Queen bitch <laughs> from the comics and the uh, animated movies, but she nailed it. How's Jared Leto as the Joker? Well, he's not in it enough to really tell. He's interesting. He's got a bit of Heath Ledger's kind of Joker, but a lot more over the top. But I see a lot of Heath Ledger's sort of interpretation into the Joker character. I enjoyed Suicide Squad. I think it, I compliment it for what it does. I, yes, it has issues, but there are some elements that just really made me enjoy it. I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 7. I can't believe I'm, like, I actually would like to watch it again. That's how much I enjoyed it. I think this is an okay movie. I think it's okay, but I really believe that the producers, Warner Brothers producers, really screwed with it and ruined David uh, Ayer's original vision. I can't wait to see when they actually put that together. I'd like to see that. I hope they do that. And I hope Warner Brothers stop pissing their pants. Because Wonder Woman actually looks really good. Justice League, not so much. But Wonder Woman, that looks good. Don't screw that up, WB. Don't. Anyway, guys, that's all for me. Hope you enjoyed this review. See you guys later.